Okay, so today we're going to be going over uh, replacing your spring, your take-up spring. Most commonly, it kind of breaks right here after a while, or uh, there's no tension on here, or sometimes this this whole assembly kind of pops out. Okay, so we're going to go over the uh, disassembly as well as the assembly and covering the components that we need to put this together, as well as replacing this spring out. Okay, so the tools that we're going to need you're gonna need a very thin uh, screwdriver, sturdy and thin screwdriver, part number 66114. That's gonna to be to access the screw right here on the side. Okay, and then we're gonna need one more. Usually this is like the, the needle screwdriver that you use to take off the screw or loosen the screw that holds this whole assembly in, okay? So originally when we have the machine, this is loaded inside. Let's get this in, okay. It's right around there. This screw, we're gonna go ahead and loosen up this screw, just a half a turn, okay? And pull this straight out. Sometimes they put a little silicone in there, so it might be a little tricky. Just kind of finesse it out, wiggle it back and forth, back and forth, up and down, just to break it free, so you could get this piece out, okay? When you take this piece out, you're gonna have a couple parts that kind of might fall out together with it. This is a little pusher pin. Okay, so you have this little stick or the little rod that inserts into the back, and you have this spring. This one's not 100% uh, needed, but this is what is uh, what comes on the new machines. So this spring is inside the machine just like that. So that would be the assembly. Okay, so we're gonna set the spring and this little rod to the side for right now. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and disassemble this unit, the tension assembly. So be very careful when you're doing this because this roll on you, so nice and sturdy. Make sure you're using with the tools that are that fit perfectly. We're gonna go ahead and just do a half a turn. Once we loosen up this screw on this basket, this piece will separate, okay? So once this separates, we have our take-up spring. Now on here, a little tricky getting this one out, but uh, with, uh, with the basket in my right hand, I'm just gonna lightly get the inside. We're trying to flip this spring, this coil spring inside out right now, just to, to get it out. So we're gonna kind of lightly pull this out and we're just trying to flip this coil. So once we flip it like that, now it's just kind of like a, a nice little roll. So this is the flip position. I'm gonna kind of turn it this way and just start rotating away from you as I follow this little tail coming out. Okay, one more time. So the tail goes in and I'm just gonna roll back the opposite way and it just kind of sli starts sliding right on in. Once we get here, we need to flip this over and put the majority of the spring back down into there. So we're just gonna flip this over gently and then push all this stuff back inside, okay? So once we flip it out, we're just gonna kinda, it's kinda like a barrel roll, I would say. We kinda just barrel roll while we're getting it outside of this spring. Wish there was an easier way I could explain that, but there isn't, okay? So once we have this, you're gonna get the new one, the new spring, same thing. We're gonna put the pigtail, or this little, this little point in the hole first. Okay, and same thing. We're just kind of doing like a little barrel roll. Okay, once we do that, we'll get into this position. Okay, where the majority, the bulk of the spring is pointing to my left. From here, we just need to get this bulk into the basket. And you don't have to force it. I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll go in. You just gotta find that little sweet spot, just like that. So now it's kind of flopping around on the inside. Only thing holding it in is having this little spring inside of that cutout, okay? So one thing that you're gonna notice on this spring, I have another one that's already out here, is this little pin. That little tail that's sticking out right there on the inside, okay? It's pretty much the end of the spring, it's kind of curved in and going in towards the barrel of the coil, okay? So that one, just keep an eye on that because since this is inside of the uh, of the basket. That pin is kind of poking right at me. That pin is supposed to go inside of that little slit right there. Okay, so that little slit. So when we put this piece and join it together with this one, 
I'm trying to rotate both pieces so that pin matches up with that slit and sinks in. So if you just kind of try to push it in, it's not gonna go in because the spring is blocking it. Now I'm being very gentle. I'm not really pushing it or mashing it in. I'm just slowly turning this around while just kind of applying just a little bit of pressure, just trying to get that little sweet spot. There we go. Okay, so nice and easy, just so it drops straight on in. Okay, now if I start turning this, you're gonna see that the spring is moving together. Okay, the idea of this is this take up spring is very important. We need to have tension and it has to retract back. Right now it's kind of in the middle of this hole and nothing is really holding it together. Let's get this back in here. Okay, so once we get the two pieces joined together, we have to adjust the pressure, the tension of this spring. So how we do it is we're gonna turn this we're gonna turn the basket and the spring so this spring meets that corner wall. Once it meets that corner wall, once it touches, stop. And in this position, you're gonna turn just a hair past into the wall. And we're gonna hold it. You can see I'm kind of squishing it down right now. So that's giving me my tension. If I let go, it's just gonna retract back and I just lost my tension. Okay, so one more time. We're gonna turn it so this little pin the part that's coming out of the hole touches the wall, stop. And then from here, it's gonna determine how much pressure that we're putting, how much tension we're putting on this spring. So right when it touches, standard factory setting is just a hair past touching that wall, okay? And when we do that, you can see me, I'm trying to hold everything together to keep it at that same tension. And I'm squeezing these two pieces together so they're nice and tight. Once we find this position, we're gonna go ahead and tighten up that screw. Be very careful on this one. Just tighten it up just enough to hold it. Then I could go ahead and place it down. So we want this nice and tight so it does not come loose. Be very careful when you do this. So you wanna have the right tools that fit perfectly. Nice, put it on a base and really crank it down, okay? So once we have that, now we can see that the tension of this take-up spring retracts back and always hits that little wall. This is gonna determine what kind of thread that we're using, the thickness of the thread. If you're using heavier thread, then you wanna increase the pressure more. We want it more into the, into the wall. And this is one of, the, one of our YouTube videos shows how to adjust your take-up spring. So you can follow that one after we get the assembly, okay? So now we gotta put this back into the machine. We're gonna go ahead and pick up our little rod, okay, that we kind of put aside, that goes in. The spring, some machines have this spring, some of them don't. The older ones might not have it, not important. New ones will have it. So if we kind of look inside here, this spring kind of goes around that little center pin. It might be a little tricky to see. That's a little pin right there. This is going around this little barrel or that little pin. Then this, the pin kind of goes in and we're just gonna kind of hold it up and push everything back, straight back in. Okay, so when I push it, it kind of retracts back. That's what the spring is for. Not needed, but you know, on the newer machines, they just have it in there. Now the positioning of this one is pretty important. When we do this adjustment, we always have the presser foot in the down position. Okay, we, sh we cannot do this adjustment with the foot up. It has to be in the down position, okay? And right here on the left side, if you look at the bottom of the take-up spring, the bottom of the take-up spring, this U, Okay, the bottom of this U should be about a quarter inch away from this, this little bar. Okay, so if you look at it from here to here, you can rotate it, that's about an eighth of an inch. We want it about a quarter inch, right around there. Quarter inch distance from here to the bottom of that U. Okay, and then as we're holding that angle, you'll see if I push back, the pin is gonna hit that wall. When it hits that wall, if I keep pushing in, it's gonna open and release my tension discs, okay? I want to touch that wall, and then once I feel contact, don't push it in because it's opening up the disc. Once I feel contact, you're gonna pull it back just a hair. Just a hair, about a millimeter, okay? Just a hair, and while we're holding it, we're gonna use our needle screw, a screwdriver, and just tighten up this screw right here, holding the whole assembly in place. Make sure this is nice and tight. 
so it doesn't pop out on us. Okay. So the main thing we're checking after we have this set in, the quarter inch distance between the bottom of the take up spring to the bracket. And when I start lifting up my foot, I don't, right when I lift up this lever, I don't want to see this opening up and releasing. Okay, that's why we give it that little space. So when I lift up my foot, it's not really opening the, the disc right away. We wanna make sure there's tension while we're sewing and give it a little pocket for when we lift up the foot and then it's and then it opens after that we cover that little open gap that we made. Okay, so this is the correct setup on um, changing your take up spring. These break on a regular basis. Okay, or this whole basket, the take up assembly, sometimes comes out because this screw is not tight. It's dirty, you're cranking it down and you pull this, it separates from the basket and the inside post. Those are pretty common issues, but putting it back on, really, really important. Um, you know, anything related to tension or this area, it, co it covers probably about, I'd say 40 to 50% of service calls that we kind of get on a regular basis. And it's related to this. Either it was pushed in all the way and there's no tension. So what do they do? They crank this down thinking it's gonna give them tension when it doesn't. That's damaging your needle, your hook, your foot, your plate. A lot of things kind of add on and trickle on uh, when this is not adjusted properly, okay? So just wanted to share that with you and I uh, hope this video helps. Make sure you have the right tools uh, for the job and very inexpensive part. Um, you know, if you feel like you can't do it, we sell this complete as a full assembly already adjusted for the um with the with the perfect tension standard tension yeah so you can just order this complete and just follow the guideline on spacing and the quarter inch instead of disassembling everything roughly i i believe this is i want to say close to the ten dollar range for the complete assembly okay so hopefully this video helps any questions just feel free to email us or uh, visit our website or give us a call take care